When you walk around the place where you live, most of the times you feel pretty safe and comfortable, right? Now imagine if there were landmines buried right here, scattered around, and you'll never know when you might step on one. That's how it is for many in my home country, Colombia. As a result of a 50-year internal armed conflict, we have an undetermined number of landmines buried throughout the countryside, affecting more than one third of the Colombian population. These anti-personnel mines are designed to maim, not to kill their targets. The logic behind this, which is awful, is that more resources are taken up caring for an injured soldier than dealing with a person who has been killed. I met Adriana Rodriguez about five years ago, while I was working for the Colombian government as a documentary filmmaker. During the conflict, she was forced to leave her house with her kids in her arms. One day, one of her neighbors was killed while he stepped on a landmine. He was actually inside an abandoned house, not outside. A house exactly like the one Adriana was forced to live. Ever since, she has been living with the fear that she or her children might step on a landmine. You know, the Colombian conflict has been running for so long that neither me nor my mom have seen our country in peace. And for someone like me, who has been living detached from all this suffering, there was only two options. Either I get used to it, or I can, try, I can try to change it with all my heart. And I have to admit that for almost 30 years, I was getting used to it, you know? But something changed for me when I met my wife. She is a political scientist completely passionate about the Colombian armed conflict. She helped me to understand how deeply our country has been affected by landmines and by war. We decided to come here to the United States in search of new skills that enable us to contribute in a better way to our society and maybe even help heal it. While in grad school, I started developing an augmented reality, really rough application to help military personnel to deactivate landmines more safely. During that time, I also realized that Colombia is not the only country in the world that has to worry about landmines. In fact, more than 58 countries are still contaminated with any sort of explosive device. Only in 2015, due to an escalation of war in countries like Libya, Syria, Ukraine and Yemen, the number of landmines almost doubled from 3,695 to 6,461 people. Imagine that. While some countries are trying to get rid of landmines, some others are increasing their use. But what happens when a conflict that involves landmines comes to an end? There are two consequences. On the one hand, the internally displaced population will start returning to their lands. And on the other hand, hidden landmines are going to start exploding more often on the civilian side. That's the reason why I decided to join the computer science department at NYU, along with Professor Claudio Silva, to start develop an app called MindSafe. MindSafe uses information from the community to suggest paths that have been declared as the most transited without accident or incident caused by a landmine. These traffic patterns can also be used to determine the top priority zones to be demined. Almost 15 million people are living now in the countryside of Colombia. Imagine for a moment if we can crowdsource information from all of them to help people like Adriana and her children to find safe and reliable paths. This information can not only be used for that, this information can also help them to become more productive. Farmers will be able to find which lands have been cleared from explosive devices. And in that way, they will be able to find new fertile grounds to start growing food again. 
MindSafe has now a partnership with the Colombian government for the initial pilot. And we have now some connections with Cambodia and Somalia as well. This project is being funded by private money here in the United States. But we don't want to stop here. We want to go big, and we want to scale the project to every single place where landmines are still a threat. The Colombian armed conflict is finally coming to an end. But the consequences of years of war are still buried under our feet. We at MindSafe are working to help both people and land to find peace. Thank you.